Samsung Galaxy S24 FE comes with a 4700 mAh battery capacity. In this video, I'm going to use this mobile for about one hour straight by using different applications. Let's see how much battery it uses during this time. While starting this test, the battery is at 38%. Mobile is connected to Wi-Fi, one SIM card is in the mobile, brightness is set to 50% and no background apps are running. The first app I'm using is YouTube. As you can see, the timer for transparency. Don't forget to like this video as it takes hours of time to shoot, edit and package everything into one piece. If you think the effort is valuable and appreciable, like this video and subscribe for more mobile content like this in the future. We can play HDR content on YouTube without any issues. I'm fast forwarding this video. If you want, you can change the playback speed in the YouTube settings according to your preferences. Overall, the video quality is looking great and the content consumption is good on this mobile phone. After playing a YouTube video for about 20 minutes, the battery is at 35%. Only 3% is used till now. By the way, I set the refresh rate to 120Hz. If you use 60Hz, you can see even more improvements in the battery backup. Next, I'm going to record a video for about 10 minutes in 8k with this mobile you can record at maximum of 8k 30 fps if you observe after clicking the record button nowhere on the screen does it show in which format we are recording it only shows the format before recording or after stopping the recording dear samsung please fix this issue in upcoming updates it would be really helpful especially when we accidentally record videos in the wrong format or frame rate you can check the dedicated camera review video of this mobile phone that i posted already the links are in the description box or in the info cards also i'll share how much space it occupies for recording about 10 minutes of 8k video after 10 minutes of 8k video recording i checked the temperature on the front it's 39.5 degrees celsius and on the back it's 38.4 degrees celsius it's a little warm but not overheating thanks to the internal cooling chamber and by the way the battery after this video recording is 30 percent it took 6.08 gb for 10 minutes of 8k video recording that is why i recommend you choose any mobile phone with at least 256 gb in 2025 or upcoming years 128 gb is not suitable as a base storage option next i'm going to use instagram for about 10 minutes let's see how much battery drops do note that these types of battery test videos are just for reference not for confirmation it varies from person to person depending on the usage patterns just take these videos as a reference only after using instagram for about 10 minutes the battery is at 29 percent this 4 nanometer chipset is really performing well in terms of energy efficiency next i'm doing cpu throttling for about 20 minutes you can also observe the stability of this chipset for the first six minutes it's stable after that you can see some dips in the performance after some more time it stabilizes again and performs like before as this is a very chipset intensive task the battery is drained more here because the chip is running at the max during the entire 20 minutes mark but still the battery is pretty impressive after this 20 minutes test the battery reached 16 percent and we also crossed the one hour mark so for one hour of continuous usage, the total battery used is 22%. Overall, in my usage too, the battery is pretty impressive on this mobile phone. You can easily use it for one full day on a single charge, especially if you're a moderate user. In case you use this mobile phone mainly for video recordings, gaming or other heavy tasks, you may need to charge it twice depending on your usage pattern. In the next video, I'm uploading the total charging time it takes to charge from 1% to 100% with the Samsung 25 watts charger. If you don't want to miss that video, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon beside it. Check out the other related video links of this mobile phone in the description box.